under, over, sideways, and under, on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world. Ladies and gentlemen, that is music from Aladdin, and I believe that singing is Aladdin. And it came out tw over 20 years ago, and I suspect that if I rub my microphone like this, I can actually poof out of magic the voice of Aladdin, Brad Kane on the Big 550 KTRS. Good morning, Brad Kane. Well, hello. How, how are, are you? you? I'm well, sir. How are you? Thank you for having me. Aladdin came out how long ago? Oh, gosh. I think it was 23 years ago. And you were the voice of Aladdin. I was the singing voice. Singing, singing voice yeah. of Aladdin. Yeah, we just listened to him. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I'm the one out of the two that got to do the Oscars in 1993, so I, uh, I got very lucky. There. Okay. Wow. I have not seen Aladdin, but I know enough about Aladdin to know that I don't know anything about Aladdin. Okay. Is Aladdin <laughs> the lamp, or is Aladdin the genie, or is Aladdin the person who rubs the lamp? Aladdin is a street rat, uh, so to speak, from uh, Agrabah, who, um, who finds this lamp rubs it a great big genie comes out of it who looks and sounds like robin williams and grants him three wishes <laughs> okay so aladdin is the guy who rubs the is the rat who rubs the the, the lamp yeah well the he's he's a person but they call him a street rat because he's just a little homeless kid who gotcha. runs around agrabah yeah okay uh, all right there you go thank you that answers the uh the question i've been dying well, to know for years question because i saw the movie <laughs> it's been a few years you're so. out because they're disney's releasing the the diamond edition. Well, every few years they do what Disney does. What they call taking a movie out of the vault. They lock it away in the vault and uh, and they you know keep it away from people people for a while and then they add all these great extras to the Blu-rays and the DVDs and then they re-release it you know every every ten years or so in a uh, in a precious metal edition. I, I think now we have the uh, the diamond edition. The diamond out, edition yeah. and we can get it anywhere. Movies are sold online. Anywhere. It's actually streaming right now on uh, on iTunes and various streaming services and yeah I think it comes. out out um, in, a, in a week on Blu-ray, and it's a beautifully remastered edition. It's got lots and lots of new uh, new material, new recording of Robin Williams, recording actually all the genie parts. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, you learn a lot more about how the movie was made, some stuff about the directors and, you know, how it all came together. So it's a pretty exciting new, new thing. How what? in the world did you be able to sing this song um, how did that come about yeah I, I just got really fortunate I was a freshman in, in college when uh, the opportunity came around and you know I was I was you know really interested at that time less in, in all things Disney than in you know this was the time when Nirvana was sort of <laughs> sweeping the country and it was grunge and I was a grunge kid I was wearing the flannel I didn't live in Seattle I lived in New York but that stuff spread you were a grunge wannabe -er. I was totally a grunge wannabe -er. and I was on the road with a band of mine I was sleeping on someone's basement floor and I got a call from my mom saying you know they want you to come up and audition for this Disney movie, I didn't understand the significance of it because all you had was The Little Mermaid at that point. You right. know? We didn't know that there was going to be this run of Disney Disney classics. Uh, but I went up there. I, I auditioned for this thing. I sang the song called Proud of Your Boy, which was a song that was made for the movie, but since cut from the movie. And, and um and then they they hired me for it, and I ended up getting to sing this beautiful classic song called A Whole New World. Now, your friends who you were trying to curry favor with in the grunge community, what did they think of you being a voice on a Disney movie? They looked at me with, uh, with a skeptical eye, <laughs> and, you know, this was not necessarily, you know... A, a cool thing back in 1991, but um, but I'm so grateful I got to do it because I, I became part of this great Disney legacy. And, uh, you know, this was before Beauty and the Beast came out. Mm -hmm. So none of us really knew that there was going to be this run of golden age of Disney animation films. Um, and that's ultimately what happened. So, you know, I... I really got lucky. And your friends are now swimming in your pool, paid for by Disney. You tell them to get out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they don't even get to come over. <laughs> uh, what is it about Disney? Why is Disney able to, to be such a brilliant f movie makers? What is it? You know what? If I knew that, I would bottle it. Because it's it's just this little bit of magic that nobody really knows how it's done. The characters just have something in them that people respond to. I mean, I just had a, I have a 19 month old daughter and the way she just reacts to Disney radio mm -hmm. without anyone telling her, well, this is Disney. You know, this is something that kids are supposed to be interested in. Mm -hmm. No, she just gravitates towards it. So uh, I don't know what the secret is, but you know, if anybody knows, uh, they're very lucky. In Your daughter should be listening to the big 550 KTRS. Forget that Disney radio. Exactly. That's the worst. I, I, agree. I will, I will, I will punish her for listening to Disney <laughs> radio. While we have you, Brad Kane, real quickly, tell us about what's going on on stars. You have a TV show on stars. I do. I'm a writer and executive producer on a TV show called uh, black sales. It's a treasure Island prequel. It's uh, it's very, very gritty. 
Uh, it's about um, it's about uh, Nassau in the Bahamas in 1715 and pirates um, and all of the uh, the shenanigans that they get into. So yeah, it's um, two seasons are already out on uh, on DVD and Blu-ray. The third season comes out in January, and it's 180 degrees away from Disney. So <laughs> you know, I, I'm I'm trying to get into all areas sure. of uh, entertainment. Brad Kane, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. He's the singing voice for Aladdin, and it's out on Blu-ray next week, and it's uh, streaming on iTunes right now. Brad. Uh, Brad Kane, thanks for coming in. It's a whole new world. Thanks for having me. I hear you. 756, traffic weather straight ahead. Big 550, KT.